It's not every day that government policy and consumer interests align, but when it comes to smart energy initiatives, that's exactly what has happened. This market is still pretty young, but it's growing rapidly. Europe is by far in the lead here thanks to its high electricity prices, environmentally conscious consumer base, and government-led renewable and smart energy initiatives. For example, the UK has set a goal to install a smart meter in every home in England, Scotland and Wales by 2020. That amounts to around 26 million smart meters and 1 million of those households already have rooftop solar power and are well on their way to becoming prosumers of energy, which means they generate, store and export energy back to the grid and ultimately save a few bucks on their utility bills. Not too shabby. Let's skip over the pond. The US is not as advanced as the UK, but it's not far behind. US residential storage projects are growing at a massive rate of 300% annually, albeit from a small base of consumers who are motivated by lower prices and cleaner energy. This largely stems from the increase in technologies that allow for time of use control. When a consumer can gauge their peak usage periods, they can adjust their energy usage appropriately in order to conserve and pay less. All right, that's enough stroking of the egos of the Americans and the British. Let's turn our attention to the Asia Pacific region. Thanks to its rapid urbanization and high demand for new buildings, the region is actually expected to see the largest growth market for domestic smart energy of anywhere else. China alone has the highest uptake of renewables globally, and with a giant like that on board, others are soon to follow its lead. No matter whether you call the East or the West home, there's no contesting an energy revolution is brewing at the surface. And this global rise of interest and in implementation of clean energy will ultimately be led by consumers who are driven by environmental and monetary motivations. After all, who can argue with saving the planet while well, saving a buck or two?